Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me here again at the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anis Urlis, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. Now in this video I'm going to cover and show you the Trivi extension ecosystem. Whether you are already using Trivi and you want to explore new features and new ways of using Trivi or you're just looking at security scanners and looking for reasons to choose Trivi, for example, or <laughs> why you would go with one security scanner over another. This video is going to be for you. Now we're going to walk over the walk over. We're going to go over <laughs> the Trivi extension ecosystem, those that are maintained officially by Aqua, as well as those are community maintained. Let's get started. Okay, so how do you get started and how do you actually find all of our extensions? Where can you find them? If you are here on the GitHub repository for Trivi, head over to our documentation section. Open it multiple times just to make sure. No. <laughs> um, now here you will find the installation of Trivi. You will find the quick start guide and how to basically install it locally, things like that. Like basically, uh, Trivi is primarily used as a CLI tool. You can use it on your local machine, in your CICD pipeline, um, in different ways. And that relates us to our ecosystem and to our extensions. So we head over to the ecosystem page and here you will find different categories of extensions, of integrations, of Trivi in different tools. Now, if we go, for example, for CI/CD, you will find different steps, different integrations, different ways to basically use Trivi in your CI/CD pipeline. Now, we have, for example, officially maintained the, tri the Trivi GitHub Actions. Now, the Trivi GitHub Actions is a repository um, that showcases how to use the GitHub Action. You can also view it on the GitHub Marketplace. And you can see here multiple examples on using the Trivi GitHub Actions and integrating that in your GitHub Actions pipeline. Now, this is an officially maintained Aqua uh, Trivi extension. What does that mean? Well, you have a team of core maintainers. Some of them are listed here uh, to the Aqua open source projects. And the list of core maintainers, a lot of them are from employed by Aqua Security. Now, in addition to that, you have core maintainers who are not employed by Aqua Security, but it's kind of this combination of employed ones and non-employed ones to make sure that these extensions are kept alive and kept up to date. And we can go over here and see the Trivi GitHub extent, Trivi GitHub action in the marketplace. And uh, that reminds me, I should update the logo to our new Trivi logo. Um, it's the first time I'm viewing that on a marketplace. How funny. Anyway, so this is our official one. Then you have a community maintained one. And then you have several other community maintained ones, as well as the official one for Azure DevOps. So if you're an Azure user, you can head over to the repository for Azure DevOps. And you can see an example here, and it's available on the Azure DevOps marketplace to use Trivi within Azure. Now, again, here are several ones that are maintained by the community. For example, for Circle CI, I've used Trivi and Circle CI before as well. And you can check those out. Um, <laughs> if you have any extension that is not listed here, then please do create a PR to add it. We would love to hear from you and your input. Now, then we also have other extensions, primarily the IDEs and Dev tools. And here you have several official ones. The VS Code extension is an official extension. And we have the JetBrains extension. And then we have the Kubernetes Lens official extension integrations, basically into those tools. What does that mean? Let's look at the VS Code extension and then the Kubernetes Lens extension as well. As always, all of the resources used within this video are linked below in the description of this video. So do check those out. Also, if you're using Trivi, if you like Trivi, please do give us a star on GitHub. It would mean a lot to us. So I have here a repository with lots of examples for using Trivi. They are all listed here in the readme. You can check that out if you want to find different examples on using Trivi. Um, it's basically kind of like a tutorial step by step. Here are some of the things that you can do with Trivi. And in here, we have also several files such as bad infrastructure as code, 
configuration files for Terraform, Kubernetes, Docker. All of this so we can scan as well. Um, then we can also scan container images for vulnerabilities. For example, in this image, we can scan the base image for vulnerabilities in, in this Docker file. Um, and there are lots of other things that we can do with Trivi. Now, you can add the extension from the extension marketplace. So we can go for Trivi and then you will find Trivi vulnerability scanner here and you can install it. Go ahead and install it. And then you will see the little Trivi logo here on the left side. Now, once you click on the Trivi logo, uh, you can run a scan. We can rerun the scan as well. Should be triggered in a bit. And once the scan is performed, you will see all of these different scan results. So we can, for example, look at our deployment manifest and we can see uh, several different misconfiguration issues in here. And it's also going to tell us um, the misconfiguration issue. Container capabilities must include NetBind service. And then it's a low vulnerability and it tells us additional details. Now, this is a medium vulnerability as far as I know. So we can have a look at that. So the container here runs as root user, which is not ideal. And you can basically, you see the additional description. You can find additional information here through the links provided, through the AFD link. Uh, AVD link <laughs> and uh, you can basically dig through that. Now the beautiful thing about the VS Code extension is that you can use Trivi right while you develop, while you um, set up your configuration files, while you set up anything related to your deployment, right? So for example, if I set up my deployment here on how my container is supposed to run inside of my cluster, um, I can perform the skin right here. I don't have to wait for my pipeline to run and tell me what's wrong in my configuration files. I can do it right before I push. And it's very straightforward. You don't have to run any additional commands. You just have to basically click here on a button that says perform scan. And you can scan any of your file systems and configuration files and resources right here through the VS Code IDE, um, which makes it a lot easier to perform scans on a continuous basis by your developers as well on their local machine. So don't just wait for your uh, CI/CD pipeline to run and tell you everything that is wrong with your configuration files. You can perform the scans way earlier. So once we've looked at the IDE and dev tools, there's also, a, by the way, there's also a Vim um, extension here, a Docker desktop extension, um, range, and then we have a tool called Lazy Trivi, which is basically a terminal UI. Um, there are lots of different uh, extensions in this section and then we have production and cloud extensions and here's our official trivi operator trivi operator is a kubernetes operator that you can use directly in your cluster then the harbor extension is an official one as well the next video will be on using trivi inside of harbor um, and then we have also a kiviano community extension here so this is the official Trivi Operator Lens extension. It's used with the Trivi Operator to view your Kubernetes resources. Lens is used to view Kubernetes resources from your cluster in a nice, more visual way inside of a dashboard. Now, we get a lot of questions on how you can actually look at the custom resource definitions from the Trivi Operator in a nicer way. Well, the answer is you can use something like Lens, the Lens extension. You can also use the Trivi Operator in combination with Grafana and Prometheus. Do check out the previous video that we made on that on this channel. Um, it's really straightforward on setting up the Lens extension. You just have to follow these steps, basically download um, the release and then put that into Lens. Here is the Lens extension. You just put the zip file in here and then you can install the extension. It's very straightforward. It takes literally a minute. Um, the easiest way to open the extension section is shift command E and then you have it in a lens dashboard. Um, really takes like maximum a minute to do. And then you can view all of your different resources right through lens as well. So for example, I'm connected now to my MicroKids Raspberry Pi cluster and I can see here cluster details, cluster stats. I can see my different nodes um, and it provides me like a nice visual overview of how are the nodes doing. And then I can also go to Trivia Operator. I can view my vulnerability reports, which are none. 
my config audit report. So I can see here a list of how many vulnerability security issues have been identified in my um, misconfiguration scans. Then are there any exposed secrets, um, error back assessment, and so on and so forth. Um, now this is what Lens provides me with. I can look at the different namespaces. I can look at the different types of workloads. Um, there are no deployments. There should be deployments. Ah, it's in that namespace. Trippy system namespace. Um, Commodore is running in there as well. Lots of other things. Um, <laughs> lots of things that you can see through Lens uh, if you prefer having a dashboard kind of environment to play around with. I really hope this gave you a nice overview of the different extensions that we have available in the Trivi ecosystem. As you can tell, Trivi is a very mature tool with lots and lots of extensions that are official as well as community maintained. So do check them out, do play around with them, see how they could enhance your workflow and provide you with continuous scanning of your resources and your infrastructure configuration files over time. Don't just wait for a CACD pipeline or your security professionals in your team to run those scans. Everybody can really perform those security scans and then make changes to your configuration files, to the base images, container images that you're using. Now, again, I, if this video was useful, I would highly appreciate if you could give it a thumbs up. Yay! Subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming videos. If you have any questions, please do comment them below. Um, or do join our Slack community. We post all of our updates also in Slack. If that's your preferred way to stay up to date with projects, then do join us on Slack as well. All of the links, everything is provided in the description. I really hope to see one of our upcoming videos. We also have next week, our next uh, Trivi um, town hall, our Trivi community office hours. So do join us there as well if you want to see some cool demos from the core maintainers and uh, ask questions. I hope to see one of our next videos again. Uh, have an amazing day. Bye bye.